I've been wanting to relocate to Europe since I was 12. I just always had an affinity to, to Europe. I hit the glass ceiling with Bermuda and I was trying to do something that may have been bigger than where I was. And so I just made up in my mind, this is what I was going to do. And I start putting a business plan together and start writing it all out and start just moving in the direction of, of what I wanted to do and how am I reaching people? What's the message I'm saying? Because I think that when you have a career that can touch and affect so many people, that's a gigantic, it's a, it's a large responsibility you have. With that duty and that charge in my life, I had to make sure that what it is that I was saying or talking about or speaking about can have a positive effect on people's life. I wanted to be able to, um, whatever it is that I was creating, that um, someone can say, okay, if, if she can do it, I can too. And um, to catch their dream. And so all the projects and all the music that I create is ultimately um, to heal people with soul. This album I'm working on right now, it's called Drink With Your Eyes. It's a conceptual project which takes you on a journey to the 1940s where a young lady who's from the country um, wants more for her life and so she ends up running away to go to the big city and to try to get more opportunities. She wants to be able to be a singer and she wants she wants more than the ordinary life she's seen her mother and her grandmother have. And so she goes to the big city and sticks out like a sore thumb because she's polite and naive at times and just very innocent. She has to try to find her way how to survive and live in the city while trying to pursue her dreams. And um, it's going to be great. Musically, it um, infuses jazz. Latin and classical, so it's going to be a jopera, meaning a jazz opera. And um, I can't wait for you guys to um, have a listen. Um, it's not just going to be like typical music videos, it's actually the whole thing is going to be a feature film that ties in with the movie. I'll be a fool on Monday. Get it on. I had a dream team band on this project. They started sending me um, clips of different pianists who were very, very talented, don't get me wrong, but stylistically they weren't right for the project. And we went back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And in between, you know, some of the other musicians was like listening, like, yeah, okay, the bass player is perfect, okay. Yeah, the drummer's great, you know. Are you serious? This is Sade's percussionist? Huh? Who are you people? You know what I mean? So, really? Like, oh my goodness. Like, yeah, okay, great. Finally, um, they had told me about, um, sent me a link actually, to um, two other pianists. One was completely classical and was phenomenal. And, um, but you could tell he was just a classical pianist. And I needed more diversity. Then they sent me this other guy. So I go to the site, to YouTube, and listen to one song, I'm like, okay. And I started listening to other, some other stuff that he had on YouTube, and which ended up leading me to his website. And um, he has an album on, on, on the site as well. And I'm like, oh, he does Latin. And then I could also hear in his playing style that he was classically trained as well. And just, I needed an avant-garde pianist, a very unique sound. And because um, the pianist had a, a huge part to play, a huge role to play instrumentally on this project, you know. And um, once I heard him, I knew he was right. That's the guy, make it happen. There's Neil Angeli on uh, acoustic piano. 
and you have Gary Crosby on upright bass, Richard Bailey on drums, Carl Van Den Bosch on percussion, and then you also have Michael Bailey on electric bass, Fender bass, on two of the songs. We also have, oh my goodness, you have this amazing horn trio and their Shaka Khan's horn section. I have this phenomenal um, string quartet that is also on the project. Engineering the project, we have Dennis Weinrich, who is a senior engineer, um, accompanied by John Moon as well. So they're both not only recording the project, they're also mixing. And mastering the project, Andy Jackson, um, who works with Pink Floyd. And then you've got some other wonderful featured artists that are also, you know, in the project as well. I mean, one that just comes to mind, he goes by Guiche, and he's a Latin acoustic guitarist. And ah, uh, when you hear this song, he's on this song called uh, Buona Sera La Vie. And whether you're female or male, please prepare to be swooned by the magical charms of Guiche's uh, guitar playing. It's phenomenal. I mean, once he just started playing, you know, it's everything I wanted it to be and more. So, and then we've got some other special goodies and special um, featured artists on the, tr on, on the project and on the individual tracks that are absolutely incredible. Baby, I like you, no church, I charm on your grin, all your eyes they do so many women, no church, I style all your way, it's all your insolence with an artistic cake, but I like you. Everything has to be top rate, everything, otherwise it doesn't need to be there, you know, if, if it's not, if it's not, if it's not um, strong enough, if it's, then I got to go back to the drawing board. I love this place. It's it's like, if they're literally like family. Like, I don't know what I'm going to do when the project's done, except come back and do another one, <laughs> you know. Um, they make you feel like family. They're so professional at Sensible Studios. Um, a wonderful place to work, um, work out of if you're doing a creative project. Um, from the owner, Jeff, Simon, um, everyone here, even it makes you feel like family. Um, and um, I would suggest to any musician who's really serious about doing a project and you want something top rate, this would definitely be a studio that I would highly, highly recommend, Sensible Studios in North London. <laughs> oh, I've been tears from my face And doubt from my mind when you can actually hear your music come to life at such a level when you're working with musicians who have already worked together so they have beautiful chemistry um, and then when I'm telling them the story I'm like each of the songs I had to like you know sometimes they were like okay what's the story for this song <laughs> once they started to realize it was not just a typical album it's, we're telling a story we're making music to tell a story so um, just to get them I wanted to get them in the zone I wanted them to see the scene and to play with that with that sentiment that um, so it can come to life and when you as the listener um, and then the viewer once the movie's done um, can watch it and or even hear it even without the picture that you can see it in your mind um, you, I wanted to take you on that journey if it's painful I want you to feel the pain if it's happy and blissful I want you to be ecstatic you know I just wanted to take my listener on a journey on a musical journey and that's what this project's all about drink with your eyes <laughs> no, 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 you Drink with you.